podcast family, it's Carolyn Litton again, creator of The Vision Project. First, I have to give a shout out to my young niece, Sydney, who gave me the idea of what to talk about this episode. She asked me to talk about goals. I must say, I was very impressed to hear what she's learned about goals. And it's also really exciting to hear about what both of my nieces have manifested from their vision boards. Be sure to tune in next week as they make a guest appearance. Kids can do this too. Starting this practice at a young age is a great way to get your kids' minds set for success. Now, I've talked to multiple people who have different perspectives about goals and goal setting. Some people say, shoot for the moon. The bigger, the better. Others say, set more realistic goals so that you have a greater chance of achieving them and you won't get discouraged and give up. So which way of thinking is correct? Which one is better? Or what if it's both? Well, it is both in my opinion, and I'll tell you why and how the Vision Project can help. You may have heard of end goals and means goals. End goals are the ultimate desires of your life that will bring you fulfillment. I'm all about living life to the fullest and not limiting yourself. So yes, I say shoot for the moon. And I understand that setting goals like that may seem like a huge undertaking and you may feel overwhelmed. Well, that's where the means goals come in. Means goals are the smaller steps or the mini goals that you create that will lead you towards achieving those big end goals. Means goals are much easier to achieve so they don't feel so overwhelming. You can look at those goals as mini wins, but make sure you acknowledge and celebrate those mini wins along the way. When you focus on smaller goals, you will often find that you're happier because you'll see that you're making progress in the right direction. It usually takes time um, to accomplish those big, huge, audacious goals. So when you take the time and give yourself credit for the smaller accomplishments along the way, that will serve as motivation to keep you moving forward. So how can the Vision Project help? If you don't have enormous goals or a clear vision of where you want to go, check out my earlier episodes about how to create a vision board and let that be your guide. When creating your vision board, there are no limitations. Whatever you want or desire, put on that board and please dream big. I can't emphasize that enough. Maybe your end goal is to start your own business so that you can be the creator that you believe you were designed to be and you wanna be in control of your own schedule and income. Got it. And that's a great compelling end goal. Now you need to come up with the smaller means goals that will get you to that point. Now here's the tricky part. In most cases, you won't know all of those means goals, what they all are. If you have big, huge, adventurous goals, you'll most likely not have the insight into each means goal. You may have an idea, but frequently life doesn't play out exactly how we expect it will. There will be so many people that you will encounter and opportunities that arise that you cannot predict, even if you try that will help you reach those vast end goals. So how do you account for that? Well, that's where the vision project comes in. The vision project will help you determine your end goals and provide you with some means goals as well. It can help you look for and recognize opportunities that come about. You can learn how to make adjustments when the means goals will likely need to shift later down the road so you can adapt and set new means goals and still move forward towards accomplishing your amazing dreams. If you need more assistance or support with executing the vision project, or you wanna go into a deeper dive, please contact me to see if one-on-one or group coaching is a good fit for you. Just go to bpmanifest.com and message me and I'll be happy to get in contact with you. Thanks again for watching and as usual, go forward and be awesome.